I'm underneath Scotch Bonnet Peak uh, by Lulu Pass outside of Cook City, Montana. And about three, four hours ago, um, an avalanche happened here. We don't know if it was human triggered or if it was a natural, but in the 48 hours uh, leading up to this, we got about a foot of snow, some west southwest winds, um, so there's definitely a loading event and it looks like a soft slab. We'll see when we get up there. But it came down, came all through these small trees behind me, and you can see little pieces of, uh, of the trees kind of littering the slope down here at the toe. I'm here in the uh, flanks of the avalanche, which is right immediately adjacent to the crown. And the crown depth is anywhere from two to three feet deep. And the average slope angle is around 36 degrees. Um, we've got here, we've got some newer snow just from last night up in the top. We've got kind of a soft slab of snow just coming in from the last uh, few days. And then some older snow down here, but it's all relatively, it's just a big soft slab. But what it is, is it's sitting on top of an ice crust. This right here is this really nice delineated ice crust. And above and below this, we've got some facets. And this, when it broke um, a few hours ago, it was breaking above the ice crust on these really sugary uh, grains of facets that formed in November uh, when the ice crust uh, was formed. So anyway, we've got a, a definite recipe for more avalanches, especially on south to southeast faces where we've got this ice crust. It's got a good bed surface. We have a weak layer and we've got a, a soft slab sitting on top of it. So with more snow coming tonight, you're going to really want to be heads up on this um, over the next few days. I'm on a slope now directly across the way from, uh, from where that avalanche was. This is a northeast facing slope, similar elevation. I'm on a bench here below Fisher Peak at a, at a run we call Wade's World. And over here we have a completely different snowpack. We, it's a lot more stable. We have a uh, new snow up here which has been falling all week and you can see it it goes from like fist hardness gets down to more four finger and then just gets denser and denser the more we go down into the snowpack to where down at the bottom we just have more one finger snow. So what we're missing is we're missing in the snowpack the ice layer which is a great bed surface, but predominantly we're also missing the large facets which are sitting on top of that which cause the slide back there. So it's early in the season, we're seeing lots of variability in the snowpack. One side of the valley is somewhat dicey, get over on this side, things are relatively safe. So we're going to keep investigating, but just have a real heads up because uh, there's a lot of variability.